Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I found this really cool and groovy stuff and it's called Craft, it's from Craft Workshop and it's called Paper Clay. It's amazing stuff and when I found it the other day I thought, oh, what could we do with that? I know exactly what we'll do with that. So today I want to show you how to turn this clay, what do you see, it's fabulous stuff, open that and the great thing about this was it was $2. Honestly, $2, great stuff. So, oops, don't you blow away leaves. It's very cold here in the studio today because it's raining outside and it's the middle of winter. Right, let me show you this stuff. I don't know what it's made out of. The only warning on it is that it's not safe for a child under three, so I am seriously okay to go. Right, when you get it, open it up, and then what I've done here is I've got a flat surface or a, an, an old chopping board, and on top of that I've put some parchment paper or some baking paper. I really love working with this stuff because it's really cheap, it's, it's cheap, it's convenient to work with, and then once you're finished with it you can just throw it away or give it a wipe and reuse it and it means that things don't stick to your surface. I'm also using the board because once I've made what we're going to make which is going to be leaves in a moment you can um, I can just leave it to dry on here. Right from there it's a matter of getting your rolling pin and just rolling this out and I love that it's air dry and who would have thought of making clay out of or paper and turning it into clay. Love it. Right, roll this out. Uh, you don't want to make it too thick because as I discovered, it once you've, if it's too thick, it takes too long to dry. Right, and I'll just turn that over there and give it another roll from this side. Now, the next thing to do is to get my leaf and hopefully there's enough veins into that. I'm just going to roll that into there and hopefully the pattern is transferred. Not very well, but it's okay for what we need to do today. Then get a knife and then just roughly just cut around using the, t the leaf as your template. Where do you see what these are going to be turned into? Fabulous. I love this idea. All right, and then that around there like that. Rough as rough as rough, doesn't matter because it's a nice autumn leaf. Pull that away. Oops, I didn't cut that bit. Cut into there. And then keep this, anything that's surplus, just put it back into its bag and keep it nice and sealed. Right from there to, to I've got the, you can just faintly see the leaf pattern on there. I'll use that one there, hold on, that one there will do. And if you want it on the reverse, just do the same thing. Roll that onto there. You could perhaps even use a cookie cutter, but I couldn't find the cookie cutter, so this will do. Pull that off there, and then get a saute stick or something and make a little hole into there. And then, even though they say it is air dry, what I did was I put it into the oven and I set the oven to 120 and I left them in there for about 15 minutes. And what happens is they go like this, this beautiful crisp color. And you know that they're ready when you do, hold on, I'll put it by my microphone. When you do that, they sound like they're hollow and crisp, just like biscuits. Now, the other thing I did when I was drying them was I used a plate like this and I just put a bit of, of parchment paper on there, roll that around like that, and then put my leaf on top of that. And because it, to get the shape of it, and because it's parchment paper or baking paper, you can actually put it into the oven and it's not going to burn. Right, once you've done all of your leaves, here's a whole heap of leaves that I've done. I'll get rid of, I'll get rid of that, because you don't need that. Let me show you the things that you can do with those beautiful leaves. Aren't they just gorgeous? I just love them. Especially if you're doing, looking for something for fall or autumn table decorations. Or, wait a minute and I'll show you what I'm going to do with mine. Right, into here I have got, if you want to colour them, and because they are porous, we want them to be porous, I'm going to use a little bit of cold tea. In fact, there's a bit too much into there. Turn that out of there. And then into this, I'm going to put some essential oils or essential oil blend, whatever you want to use. Just a few drops of that goes into there, like so. Give that a wee stir up. And then, these ones here I'll use. 
just get the tea and oil infused water and then just paint that over the leaf to get a really beautiful, beautiful colouring. Oh, and the smell is terrific. Just quickly paint that over there. Oh, so with these, what I wanted to do is, as an, well, the whole reason why I'm doing this is because these are going to become, once that's dried again, I'm going to then put a bit of string around, thus the hole, and these I'm going to hang in my husband's car because he has been fishing and the worst thing in life is that the fishing smell has gone through the car and every time I get in it, it just about makes me want to be sick at such a horrible smell. So they, once that's dry, will go in over his mirror, his um, rear vision mirror, and when the sun hits that, the fragrance from the essential oils will be warmed by the sun, and the smell that is in his car will hopefully be masked by the beautiful essential oils. How easy is that? Natural alternative to having something synthetic as an, a room freshener for your car. You could put those into your wardrobe. You could put them in with your under, into a drawer with um, clothes that are going away for the winter and you don't want them to get that mouldy, musky smell. Perfect solution for eliminating odours. I hope you've enjoyed that because I've enjoyed sharing it with you. See you again another day. Thank you.